Welcome to our introduction video of our stock and purchasing solution for Microsoft Dynamics customer engagement. Our system works entirely within Dynamics 365 customer engagement via a series of apps. Output to your existing finance system can be managed via a variety of add-ons, Power Automate or simple CSV uploads. Because it's purely Dynamics 365 Power App based, you benefit from all the features of Dynamics to allow you to modify and customize the solution to meet your specific needs. Our Stock and Purchasing Manager sits at the end of the three modules that make up our total solutions for CPQ and manufacturing. The three modules are Quote Manager CPQ, Order Manager and Stock and Purchasing. Our Stock and Purchasing system works with the Products Database and Order Manager to control the manufacturing, purchasing, goods receipt and dispatching processes. The system can be used by resellers and distributors who want to manage purchasing directly from each order, or by manufacturers who need to build products from a bill of materials and order products from stock forecasts. The build process gives insight into the status of each build, any issues that are stopping the build, and controls the generation and allocation of assets for each order. The stock control system works with the product build capability to manage the status of stock at each stage of the order and manufacturing process. This gives users complete control and visibility into the current stock situation. So within our stock and purchasing module, when we open up a product, this is a product that is manufactured so we can view the bill of materials including components and sub-assemblies. Each product can have one or more stock locations. When I open up the default location, this shows the current stock position and a history of stock transactions. At the product level, we can also view the current stock position and also the number that has been allocated to the various builds we have in progress. When we open up a component, we have various stock fields that inform purchasing that we need to purchase more components. The Stock Order Now field shows purchasing they should order 52 of this item. And this is calculated from using current stock, stock on order, stock minimum level and stock minimum order quantity. Details of the supplier are also held on product record. The control of the build process is from Order Manager. When the status of an order moves from draft to prepare, the system looks to see if there is stock. If there is no stock, the build process is initiated. Here we can see the details of a build that was generated. The components of this build have been generated from its bill of materials, and we can see the sub-assemblies and components. In this case, the build has been completed, and we can see that there is a green tick against each item in the build to signify that each part of the process has been completed. If any of the components or sub-assemblies has a stock problem, there will be a red warning sign so that the users can easily identify where problem areas might be. In this case, this product is an asset, and the various details about the asset will need to be completed before the build can be completed. Once the build is completed, the stock for this finished product is incremented, and the stock levels for the components are decremented. Purchase orders can be raised either at the order level, so that you only order the items required in that order, or in bulk from the Stock Order Now view in Products and Services. Here we can see the need to order various items from two suppliers. We simply select the items we wish to raise a purchase order for, click on Create Purchase Order, and the system will produce two purchase orders, one for each supplier. Once the purchase order is generated, it can be sent to the supplier. After it has been marked as dispatched, we can then generate a delivery note once the order has been received. The items are copied into the delivery note and we notify the system of the quantity that has been delivered. So this is a short video to explain how Purchasing and Stock Manager works. 
please contact us to get a demonstration or a free trial.